sweet sweets welcome back if you're new here i'm lady nadra and we are a lifestyle fashion and travel channel i did a little bit of traveling in this vlog i'm not gonna have a long intro i'm just gonna get right into it so that you guys can enjoy and you know it's kind of it's over an hour so a little bit over an hour so i don't want to you know belabor this uh <laughs> this intro Hope you come back. Hope you like it. If you if you do like it, give me a thumbs up. Like, subscribe, comment. Follow me over on Instagram. All the things that you know to do here on YouTube. You know, it don't work here no different than it works everywhere else. All right. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Here we go. Morgan likes this ugly shoe. Do. <laughs> Do. So that big ball is, that's sitting on the back of it is your foot starts right here. And so this ball is just back there. I like it. <laughs> Good thing, Talia. Look at Julian's new bag. You know, <laughs> I'm obsessed with this bag. Right here. <laughs> obsessed. Let's see the strap. It's the it strap. Off. It's the strap for us. Uh huh. See, that's dope. Get into it. Oh, oh. Huh? oh. oh <laughs> we love Ferragamo. That's Ferragamo. It's a cute bag. Sunday y'all it is the 20 I want to say second 21st or 22nd anyway Sunday today's look is this Hanifa um, cardigan sweater dress whatever you want to call it um, I think it doubles as both I could just very easily undo this belt open it up put on some jeans and a t-shirt underneath and just let this flow and hang it's very very long as you can see um, especially with my sneakers on today but it's very warm and today being you know kind of chilly here in Cali I thought it was a good opportunity for me to put this on um, of course I have on my D new Dior shades which I'm gonna slip off real quick so you guys can see me <laughs> I can see you um, I have on my Oscar de la Renta. people were like your initials are not GW, no. The G is for Gloria and the W is for Williams. They didn't have an N, so I got a W for Williams. And um, I bought this one for my mom, but she never gets the opportunity to wear it. So I thought I'd represent for her. I have on my um, Sister Love earrings from Simone Smith. And um, this lip today is Stunna by um the stunna lip paint by fenty and this is i believe in the color uncensored if it's different i'll put it on the screen but i think this is uncensored and then i have on my uh, melinda maria uh jewel toned ear cuff it's green if you can't tell in the camera it's green um like an emerald color like i said um it's gold on the back i may flip it around so you can see more gold and then you know the green is an accent um but yeah so that's what's going on of course my arm candy which can barely be seen is my Fendi watch and my Dior combo on this arm what I wear all the time um and then I opted for sneakers today these sneakers are I want to say I think Julian said that they were the uh, Nike blazers but anyway, I got them. They have the colored stitching on them, which I thought made them interesting. I was looking for some white sneakers. And, um, of course, when I got there, you know, I couldn't just settle for a plain white sneaker. Especially when I saw these with the orange and, like, 
um, green or turquoise stitching on them. This is my look for today and I'm gonna carry this bag from Anthropology. Um, I will probably, uh, I may wear it with the handle. Normally I just carry it like a clutch and ditch the handles, but I may carry the handles today. I think I might do that. Um, just to kind of keep it casual like, you know, with the sneakers. So I think this is gonna be my look for today. All right, happy Sunday, guys. I always forget to share my fragrance with you guys. My fragrance for today, I'm wearing, I put on this um, Gentle Fluidity um, Body Butter. This is actually a dupe. It's a um, Body Butter Dupe by Pritzy Organics. Um, put the spelling on the screen and then I, I actually put my fragrance on today and it's a base layer so all that was a base layer and then I kicked it up because it's the first day of fall or <laughs> not the first day of fall it's the first day of um, cool weather <laughs> I'll put it like that it's cool enough for me to wear my fall fragrances you know to start that and so I kicked it up with this Tom Ford um, black orchid and um if you know you know you know what i'm saying tom ford their fragrances just do do the doggone thing so i'm just saying you know i smell good <laughs> Good morning. So today's outfit is Monday. I'm headed to the dentist. I got my bag from um, Anthropology, and I have my shades on because I don't have on any makeup today. But these are my Dior um, sunnies that I just got. I got on my hat because my hair needs to be colored. You know, we gotta do do what we gotta do. But I got on my hat because um, I'm not gonna color my hair until the end of the week. I have my T-shirt. Um, that I got from Nicole and it just says it's my daddy for me period and um, Got this jacket this denim jacket, which is on trend It's denim. It's from Zara um, with the broken hem um, My pants are from the ABI project or ABI project is on Instagram and um, They were I got the 15 I think it is size 15 they're Italian cut so they definitely were very very small up here they didn't fit I don't know if you guys remember my video showing that these pants didn't fit and I just un uh, unzipped them sorry I unzipped them and turned them <laughs> out like that and then just had a long shirt on over it but I went to the tailor and he actually put a piece of suede right here on the sides to open them up and um, gave me, I think, six inches. But anyway, now they fit. And I think they're super cute cargos, those wide leg, you know, um, heavy at the bottom look. And I, I paired that with my Nike blazers that I just got um, over the weekend. I wanted some white tennis shoes, but these actually have a little, I wore them yesterday. They have a little stitching on them. Sorry if you guys hear the washing machine. Um, I'm right in front of it. But anyway, it's got a little orange stitching and that little blue tab on the back. As well as on this side, there's a, like I think it's like a green. It is green. A green Nike swoosh. So, this is my look for the day. And, um... 
this wind is blowing i'm gonna stop at this light and let this that y'all see that truck up there so the because the wind is blowing so heavily it caught something under on the top of that that truck that caused it to blow up and um so i'm just trying to give myself a little space in case it blows up again and blows off you know i'm gonna give him some room i probably should have turned and went around Mm -mm. I am not um <laughs> I'm not trying to get taken out by debris from this truck. Let me slow down, give him some room. He must have slowed down trying to you know he need to get like pull over and address that situation because that could be dangerous. Don't slow down. Why am I catching back up to him again? And I'm only going 30 miles per hour. You're going to have me late for my dentist appointment. Because you won't pull over and address your situation. It's only two lanes back here, sir. You don't need to keep going. There you go. There you go. See? Y'all, this wind is blowing. You know, that truck really could have took me out. It's all kind of stuff blowing all over this road. That's why you have to stay cognizant of what's happening. You know, keep your eyes open. This lady is annoying me at Nordstrom. I thought the last time I was in here she got on my nerves, but she definitely got on my nerves again today. So it's official. I don't, I don't fancy her too much. <laughs> um, she's like, I, I haven't seen you here two, three weeks. She said, you don't work. What? Oh, why does that matter to you? Oh, this is cute. You don't work, I have to work every day. That's what she said. <laughs> Lady, go away from me. There's this um, tote bag that's in Nordstrom that I was thinking about getting. Um, I think I am. I think I'm going to walk back over there and get it real quick. But it's a nice tote, you know, for the cool weather months. Um, it has like a shearling handle, which kind of gives me pause because your hands got to be clean or the handle's going to be dirty. So I got to figure that out. I'm going to go look back and look at it. I'll show it to you guys. They got Christmas stuff in the stores already, y'all. It's today's October 26th. And um, <laughs> it's out. I get in my car and this is on my window <laughs> why am I like this guys why am I like this thank God this is a first notice how many times have I done this so I'm grateful for the grace you know what I'm saying but this says this is a warning issued to alert you that uh, to alert you the fact that you have committed the above in uh, violations. Your license number has been recorded for future reference. In case of a similar violation in the future, your vehicle may be towed and stored at your expense. I mean, I can't even be mad. 
You know how many times I have parked in this very spot, this very spot, right up front, right at the front door. There's, there's the door. <laughs> and I'm right here. I've done this so many times without putting this darn placard up. I got to get, they said they're not going to give me the, um, the, um, this is not even my placard, so I can't even be tripping. This is not my placard. It's my mom's. You know, I mean, and rightfully I have it, you know, because I'm the one that drives her around. I have it for a reason, but she ain't with me. I do have my own. Don't get me wrong. I do have my own placard, um, but it's just the temporary one. And, um, I got to go back and get it renewed, but what is my problem? I don't know. I don't know why I'm like this. When I went in Zara today, <clears throat> I fully intended to find something for me. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's Zara. You know, you finally, you normally find one or two items. Um, but anyway, nonetheless, they, they had some cute shoes, but I don't always trust their shoes because they're not, they've not been the most comfortable for me. Um, didn't find anything for me in Zara. So I went over to the men's side and um, I found a suit for Mark. Actually, I found two things, um, a few more than two things, but I, I, I had two, two outfits in my hand for him. And... I ended up putting one back because it would be something that I would like for him, but I don't think he would necessarily wear it. It was like a crushed velvet cord, you know, just the top button down, um, that rich blue, um, which he likes blue. And then it had, uh, pants with the drawstring, you know, um, crushed velvet, you know, for the bottoms. And it was a really nice set, but I wouldn't, I was like, mm, I want to pull the trigger on this because then I'll have to bring it back if he doesn't like it. I'd rather have him with me to say that he would, um, like, you guys don't mind all those Depends. Y'all see those Depends in the back seat? All those Depends. I'm going to have to unload them into my garage because um, one of my mom's followers um, on you, uh, here on YouTube, she blessed us with those. She had given me um, a trunk full before, and she brought me some more. And um, I haven't used the first set fully that I got, so um, <laughs> they're in my backseat. But nonetheless, I, I went and got him this pantsuit. I went ahead and got him this, this suit, and it seems like it's it's something you could dress down and dress up. I think I would like for him to try it with a, I see it with a black turtleneck or, you know, even a gray shirt, another, another colored gray shirt and some nice shoes or boots or something like that. Um, but yeah, I think he'll definitely like, excuse me, that outfit, but I'm not sure if he'll fancy the crushed velvet blue <laughs> cord. I thought it was nice. But since I didn't get me anything in Zara, on the way out, I had parked by Bloomingdale's, and so I'm like, let me just cruise by the fragrance section. Now, y'all know I don't need not another fragrance. I don't. I just gave Morgan my last um, bottle of that Bond Number no. 9. Um, excuse me. That by number nine, Tribeca, I gave it to Morgan. And she's getting so many compliments. It was like three or four people that walked up to me and it's like, what's the name of the fragrance Morgan has on? She doesn't know the name of it. What's the name of it? Um, but it smells really, really good on her. It smells better on her than it did on me. And so I had the large bottle of that, so I just gave it to her. And, uh, <clears throat> but... Why did I walk past that bond counter today? I I did a thing. <laughs> I got the small bottle though. So you guys give me a round of applause. You know, 
for getting a small bottle of Chinatown by bond number nine. Spam. Anyway, I smell the peach blossoms, the patchouli, and the gardenia right away. But then it also has tuberose and card cardamom. And I know that I normally like those um, notes in a fragrance, but I don't know what they smell like on their, their own, but they must anchor down those florals, that patchouli and gardenia. Because although I'm not really a floral girl, I always say that, but a lot of the stuff that I like has floral notes in it. But um, it's something that weights it down and makes it more sultry and sexy, you know? So it has to be that cardamom and tuberose. Maybe to spice it up a little bit, but y'all, this this Chinatown, this all right with me. So I just came home and I got a few packages in. Um, I'm gonna show you what I got from the mall. And I got some packages in. Okay, I got my dress from the mask collections. Um, you guys would have seen me. I think I I showed you guys the outfit that I got in the last um, haul from the, not the last vlog from the mask collections. Um, she sent me this jumper. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. I hope I can fit it and it don't fit me tight. <laughs> I'm about to try this on, but that's cute. Oh, that was so sweet of her. Thank you, Mass Collections. So this, you know, is this little deal here. I'm gonna have to put it on so you can see it. And um, I purchased this dress from her. Um, she told me it was coming Thursday. But it came today, and I'm glad because I may take this with me on my my trip. Oh yes, honey! I have to put this on too so you can see how it fits. But I love this dress. You guys have—they've had them all over the internet, but I like this print. This print is fire. So this is navy blue. I thought it was black on the pictures, but it's navy blue with some pink in it. Uh -huh. Thanks, Mask Collections. The Mask Collections on um, Instagram. Then I went to Lululemon. You guys know I pretty much live in my Lululemon clothes <laughs> during the week, my, my gym clothes. I um, go to the gym every day, so I bought this brown color flesh tone uh, but <laughs> yeah I bought this in the long sleeve with the zipper zipper pockets on the front right here um, got that the shirt and the pants and I sized down in my pants so hopefully this will make a difference because a lot of times I'm pulling you know when I get my right size if I get a size 14 in the pants I'll be having a, you know, when I'm on the treadmill, I'm pulling at them. So, the girl told me to size down, and that might help me with that issue. And, um, actually, the girl that told me when I made my last purchase when I went to New York last year, a year ago, and I bought some things from there, she was like, mm, I don't want you to have to be pulling on your pants. So, <laughs> get, you know, size down, and I did with those pants, but let's see if it works with these two. Then I went to Sephora and I got me some more whey um, body wash. I still have some from my last purchase, but I'm going to take that. It'll probably be enough to get me through the weekend and maybe a few more days. and Or probably just the weekend because my hubby uses my... Um, when we go out of town, he takes that opportunity to use all my products. <laughs> then... Um, I don't know whether this was a, like a holiday thing or not, but uh, Lily Lashes Time Sephora. I got these. This was like $35. Normally, one pair is $30. So, I got two pair for the price of one. 
and I was go prepared to go in there and buy me two pair of new lashes. Um, so since I got these two pair, I went on and got um, this other pair, but they didn't have a lot of selection. So these are Powell, Powell Street. Um, I was looking for Rome. These in here, the bottom ones are Beverly Drive. Um, yeah, Beverly Drive and the top ones are Miami. Now, of course, these are a little bit more dramatic, but I still like, I like a lot. Um, that's, that used to be my go-to. Now, I normally get Rome, which, like I said, they didn't have them. Then, um, from Nordstrom, I got this Marine Sayer shirt. Um, I like these. I've always wanted one. You know, just, it's just a regular shirt. I don't even know what, what all the hype is, but it does go with, you know, different items. It kind of makes them pop. So I've seen people style them really cute. Um, so I, wanted, I always wanted to get one of those, and I saw it in there today. Got this dress from the Naked Wardrobe. This dress, um, it's a faux leather, something of another. This is in the size extra large. So um, it's just a just something I feel like I can style, a basic piece that I can style up. It's basic, but that faux leather gives it a little, little extra sauce sauce and then this seems like there's a lot in this um this Zara bag I didn't get nothing from me from Zara I stopped and got the mail make sure I'm not throwing nothing away it's a lot of junk mail um I don't understand why we have to get all this stuff <laughs> I just don't understand why they got to put all this stuff in our box. Uh, this is still junk mail. Still junk mail. Um, this fragrance I got you guys. Now this, this is it on my hand. This smells so good. I think I told you guys it has, this is um, Chinatown by bond number nine and i got the small bottle um and she put a few samples in there but this smells so good it's got um peach blossoms these are the notes peach blossoms i think i said it let me see what is it peach blossoms gardenia patchouli um cardamom and tuberose and there's one more there's one more in there, but it smells good. It's really, really, it's a sexy fragrance. You know what I'm saying? It's got, a, got the floral notes for sure. Sweet floral notes, not the bitter ones, the stanky ones. <laughs> but, um, because I'm normally not a floral girl, but I do love gardenia. I love patchouli. Um... I like the peach blossoms in there. It was something else. I can't remember what that other one was, but I like it in the dry down. The dry down is, it makes it, it it's, you can smell the sultry in it when it dries down. You know, like I said, that cardamom and tuberose, I think that kind of weights it. And with that, I got this bag with purchase. They were like, it looks cuter when you put stuff in it. So I got this bag. It is cute. They had, they had a choice of, um, let's see, denim, uh, camo, and then they had this multicolored one that looked like I'm supposed to take it to the beach or something. Not for me. Not for me. Um, then, oh, I got my candles, you guys know, so when I go to, when I go out of town, I normally get these candles, and I'm not going to unwrap these, 
I get these candles from, um, where did they come from? Anthropology. So I got two small candles. I think they're like $16 a piece. I got two small ones and they, they burn a long time even though they're small. And then I got this big one. I'm gonna gift this one to um, the pastor's wife that's hosting, hosting us this weekend. I think they're gonna take us out to dinner Friday night. And so just wanted to give her a little something, you know, my favorite candle. I also bought from Anthropology these earrings. Um, I'm wanting to try like a smaller earring instead of always doing a hoop. Um, I just kind of wanted to have something smaller. So they had these in something even smaller. They had an even smaller version of them, but I opted for these and then I'll, I'll show you why. I opted for these and I'm living dangerously because I'm right in front of this trash can. So I hope I don't drop my back. But I thought that would, you know, that's cute. It's a cute smaller earring, you know what I mean? Which I think. I also purchased these little new numbers. Let me see if I can figure out how to get them on. Oh, they're very easy to put on. Yay. Love that. Oh! <laughs> I just dropped it in the trash can. Okay, I'm going to show you this other one. Let me show you the other one. Well, I got you on camera, and then I'm going to fish this one out of the trash can. It's nothing but what I just put in here, so that's good. It's just mail. Make sure it's closed. Okay, look at that. Isn't that cute? So, in terms of a small earring... I thought this one was pretty. And then I could put my little cuffs and stuff on. That's cute. I like it. And let me be careful. I knew that was gonna happen. Why did why didn't I? I mean, like I could see it in my mind's eye. Why didn't I do something different? Huh? That's all right, ain't it? That's all right. So I like it so you can have it. Kind of cock to the side, hanging off your shoulder. I've seen it like that. See. I've seen it like that. People have belted them. They're just really, really easy to wear. You know, very forgiving. It's going to do whatever you do. <laughs> you know, whatever your body is doing, it's going to kind of conform, you know, in that way. But, um, and she did say some of them were cut a little bit different so um some of them were cut smaller so maybe that's maybe that's a thing but it doesn't have a size inside but i like it with a funky shoe i gotta figure out what kind of shoes i got strappy shoes but mm -hmm. let me see if that pink shoe will work that i got from only maker Woo! that's cute Okay, so this is this that marine sand top that I was saying that pairs good with different um, different patterns and stuff like this, but um, it looks even good with this camo. Even though these are two different prints, you know, it ties in. You know what I'm saying? So if you have even a cam camouflage pants, you could pair it with this top or, you know, just a little different, a different look. You know, it's not the expected pairing, but it's cute. Morgan be trying to get this little money out of this thing. I, I put money in here. <laughs> and this is what she got to do. She got to, so you got to drain all the coins out in order to get the bills. She got to use tweezers to get the bills out. To get the bills out. <laughs> Yes. I hate you. And you do this. 
<laughs> That's right. That make you not go in there. <laughs> you going in there, huh? She said that's the price you gotta pay sometimes, you know? I'm getting ready to pack, y'all. <sighs> oh my God, I thought you dropped it. Your, I thought your screen was cracked. Um, I'm getting ready to pack. I gotta figure out what I'm wearing first. I gotta get my outfits together. I'm tired. I hate when they have these doors in the, um, in the bathroom stall, you know? Maybe next somebody's coming out out of there. I don't know. I don't like it. So this was um, a total disaster. Um, so we, we were flying into Houston from Salt Lake City. We went to Salt Lake City earlier. We were coming to Houston where um, we're here for Brentwood Church and they normally have uh, a car to pick us up and all the things, I look a mess. Um, they have a car to pick us up normally and all that kind of stuff. Well, um, the weather was too bad to fly into Houston. So we had to, um, first we had to, we were circling in the air and then, um, they diverted us to San Antonio in order for us to refuel. Then we had to sit there and wait in line to refuel because I guess we weren't the only plane that that happened to. So we had to wait in line to refuel and then we had to um, wait in line to pull out and get clearance to come into Houston because you know everybody's flight was delayed. So. Now we got to have we're gonna have to get a um, probably Uber to our hotel. We'll figure it out from here. Good morning, it is Saturday and we are headed over to the Galleria for a day of shopping, you know, just hanging out. Um, I'm probably gonna come back to the hotel. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna get with my family or if I'm gonna just hang out at the hotel. Oh, okay. But I'm gonna um, take you guys with me to the mall and we'll see what the day brings. Had to get Mark some um, some Astros gear. I guess he's wearing. Uh, I think he got this. He got that and a hat. We came in here shopping for me, and somehow we're shopping for him. So <laughs> we'll see. We went to Zara. He had to have some from Zara. He had to have get him a turtleneck. I'm like, okay, sir. So now he's gonna be rushing me. As I'm walking around with him, but he's gonna be rushing me. Watch.
show you real quick. I have a major headache. I was um, planning to call up my family. I have some family here. I also have some friends that are here um, for homecoming. It's like three different homecomings going on um, here. But I was going to, you know, do that thing. But my husband just went, Mark just went to the, um, to the Astros, to the World Series, you know, to see the Astros play. So I'm going to just chill. Honestly, I mean, that's just what I feel like doing. I could find something to get into, but I just don't want to. <laughs> that's the bottom line, long and short of it. I have a headache and I'm going to lay down, put something on TV, watch it or it watch me, some something like that. But that's just what I want to do. Um, but anyway, I wanted to show you guys a few things that I got today when I, when I was shopping at the Galleria. So... I thought this was cute. This is by Adidas. And I thought this was cute. Maybe like with some jeans and maybe a over over a um maybe a shirt like this, but a a black one or a darker color or something like that. I thought this would be cute. It actually came with shorts. I know this the light that's coming through this window is kind of blowing this out, but it's definitely a metallic. And it's um very lightweight it has the the adidas stripes i don't know if you can see them three stripes right here um and actually comes with shorts i didn't get the shorts but i probably should have because it would be a cute little thing in the summer you know what i mean but anyway it's nice and light something to throw over and um it was 59 dollars so i got it and I also got this dress from Zara. I didn't do a lot of shopping today, but get into this dress. Look, hopefully I can get into it. <laughs> it's um very stretchy. Um, it's a one X. They didn't have a two X, but when I look on the tag, it does go up to two X. So I may try this on for you guys to see, so you can see um, the sizing. But this dress is a long maxi dress with a split in the back. Which, you guys, I always look for that split. It has to have a split somewhere because otherwise you're going to be, you know, <laughs> you won't be able to open your legs up too much, you know, to walk, to step up on stuff. But, um, yeah, so I got this dress. I thought it was pretty cute. And then, what else did I get? Um, oh, this is Mark's. I don't think I got too much. You want to see what Mark got? He got this turtleneck. Sweater kind of turtleneck. Um, actually, he got two of them. He got one in this color, too. I got some earrings from Zara. These are $22. I thought they were very cute. You know, I'm looking to get into... A little bit more silver jewelry. Do this does this have just silver? It has yeah, it's silver. It looks like it may have black in it, but it's just silver. Huh. And they're clip-ons. Oh no, they're not clip-ons. They do have a piercing with the clip over it. So that's cool. Um and then I got this bag. I think I showed this to you guys. I just showed it to you guys. I got this bag from Steve Madden. And this one is a little different. They had one in um, gold and in um, lavender. But the little studs on it were not as big. They were smaller and finer than this one. And then this bag is bigger than those were. But it's um, got a button closure here and then a zip pocket a side zip pocket on the inside inside is black um it says something in there probably steve madden yeah it says steve madden but i got this one that has this little 
chain thing on here that I'm probably gonna take off <laughs> that says SM. I'll probably take this off, I don't like that. Um, but yeah, Steve Madden. But then I got this, um, it was final sale. This is the only one that they had in the store, number one. But number two, see that right there? See, I wouldn't even seen that if I hadn't shown it to you, right? That on both sides is doing a thing on both sides, but I was able to get it for a half price. And plus, um, I think I can get somebody, I can get my shoe guy to fix that up, I think. It's not really that big of a deal, honestly. I don't, I'm not tripping off of it. Oh, there's another piece right there. So we'll, yeah, we'll have to get that one fixed. But it's just these little beads that have come loose. So I think we can work that out. But that's the worst of it right there. Other than that, it's a cute bag. Can y'all see? Let me get on my tiptoes. That's a cute bag. Okay, so this dress definitely has a lot of stretch to it. I mean, a lot of stretch. I didn't zip it up in the back because I'm here by myself and, you know, I didn't want to be doing all that. But, you guys, it has a lot of stretch. This is a 1X. I probably would have gotten a 2X if they would have had it. Um, and I'll tell you why. It's because the arms are little. Um, if you can see right here, this is not coming all the way up on my, I guess I could work it up on my arms, but again, I'm here by myself and I don't wanna do all that. I would need help to, to get in and out of the dress, you know, and I don't wanna do all that. So, but it's a cute dress. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move back so you guys can see the back. Um, now, it's not zipped up, so. Don't mind my bra in the back, but, uh-oh. Um, yeah, this is it. I would say 2X. I'm probably gonna wear this one. <laughs> if I can't find it, I'm not gonna give it back. I'm not gonna take it back and, you know, if I could order this in a 2X, I may just do the exchange, that kind of thing. But um, order it in store and exchange it. But other than that, it feels good. Okay. So, I think what I'm getting ready to do is take my shower, put on my PJs, um, find something on TV to watch. You guys, I'm tired. I just want to take a Motrin or something. And, um, I ate some french fries, so I'm really full. And a piece of chicken. I had some chicken. You know, I haven't been eating chicken, beef, or um, pork. I did have a little bacon. But, <laughs> you know, as as a rule, I don't really eat it. Here and there, I may have it. And today was a, was a here or a there, however you want to put it. Because um, I had some chicken tenders. I ordered room service because I didn't feel like going out. And, um, yeah. So, I'm going to chill. The rest of the evening, do a little editing. Um, I may edit this vlog that, that I'm working on right now so that it can go up um, the top of next week and get ready for church tomorrow. Um, we'll be at Brentwood Baptist Church. And so, um, yeah. Okay, this is the naked wardrobe um, dress that I got, y'all, I gotta lose some weight, <laughs> I gotta lose some weight, this is so tight, I mean, it doesn't feel, I feel fine, and I think it's supposed to do what it's doing, and give what it's supposed to get, <laughs> well, giving what it's supposed to give, but, look at this, this is, I need to lose, like, at least 15, between 15 and 20 pounds 
and I'll be satisfied. I'm not trying to be skinny. I didn't zip this one up either. I'm not trying to be skinny. Skinny is not, it's not, you know, I ain't never been skinny, except for when I was in high school. And um, I'm not going back there, but oh my gosh. I need to lose some weight. This is, um, this is what it's doing. This is the extra large. I bought it to um, wear under. Let me show you what I was gonna wear on top of it. Okay, because it was cold and raining here last night, I had this this raincoat that I bought from like Lane Bryant so many years ago. But um, I saw Janae from High Low Lush. She had on something like this, and I was like, I think I got one of those. So I um, I pulled this out, and I have a black boot that I was gonna wear with this. You know, this is my my vibe kind. I have a little hat. This is gonna be my vibe last night, but because of our flight um, getting in like three hours, we were like three hours late. Um, you know, we opted not to go to dinner. So honestly, we really don't get to do much on this trip. I think we'll hang out tomorrow with the pastor and um, their staff, some of the staff members. We'll do that tomorrow, but um, yeah, I ain't really get to do that much on this trip to Houston. But usually, Houston is loads of fun. We did, however, I don't think I, I don't think I vlogged. We went to Papa Do's last night. Mark went and um, he went to Papa Do's and picked up our our food. Our um, we ordered online and he went and picked up the food. So um, that was good. We did get Papa Do's. And tomorrow, I'm sure our food will be yummy, but I don't know. Just not, I'm not big on eating a whole lot of Texas food because I'll be bad <laughs> afterwards. You know what I'm saying? Okay, guys. Um, I think I'm going to call it a night. Happy Sunday, everybody. It is um, the 30th or what's today's date? It's the 30th and we are in Houston, Texas still. Um, headed to church, headed to Brentwood. I got on my snake earrings and I'm gonna put on the screen uh, where they're from because I forgot. But I also have on this cord um, from Farm Rio. I'm gonna let me see. I'm going to put you guys down here and try to show you my outfit. Let's see if I can fix this up a little bit. Okay. So this coat ord, um, pants and top. The pants are high-waisted. Otherwise, they really they have a really long um, inseam here. Or seam, whatever you call it. So I have to pull them up kind of high so that they're not dragging too low in the waist but it, of course it has this uh, elastic around the the bottom and shoulder pads and it kind of reminds me of if you guys are from my age group remember Coogee <laughs> it kind of reminds me of a Coogee outfit and so I'm wearing these um, boots from Jeffrey Campbell they are pretty comfortable I can remember I haven't worn them in a while but um, as far as I remember they're pretty comfortable they're a little bit snug around across the toe but um, they give you plenty of toe room because of the round front and so I'm gonna wear these I'm gonna wear these glasses today um, I these are the only ones I really brought um, actually, I'm lying. I brought my Dior Soul Lights, but I think the the color in them is, is probably a little too light of a tan. And because of the shoes and this bag, I'm the, um, this Bottega Jody dupe that I got from um, Amazon. I'm going to wear this for the first time, put some stuff in there, see how much it can load up. 
Um, I got my phone. I'm going to put my camera in. I know I can't put my camera because of the opening. The opening is not real wide but um, or long. But I can stick my camera in there and take the, the handle off and then put it in. I'll just have to do that today. Um, I don't think I could put my case in here for my glasses. So that's going to be interesting. I may have to just stick my glasses in here and hope for the best. Hope they don't get scratched up. Okay, um, as for my makeup, hold on. Okay, I'm trying not to get too much light, but for my makeup look, I use Mocha Mommy above my eye, and then I added um, the combination of the little Moscow Mule and Ginger Binge from Fenty Beauty. There, it's a highlighter, but I just took it and dabbed both my finger in both of them, and then just pressed it onto my lid. Um, I didn't fill in my brows today, kind of evident, but nonetheless, I didn't do it. Um, my lashes today are Doha by Lily Lashes. I try to, actually they were in my, um, in my, my travel case. They were a brand new pair of lashes in my, in my travel case. And so I do like them. They're shorter inside and a little longer on the outsides but um i like them they kind of give me the vibe of rome which is the one that i really like um for my lip my lip combo is on the outside is lime of lime crime raven it's a deep purple i love that color i can't i couldn't wait for it to you know kind of cool off so i could start wearing my dark lip colors again but um it's lime crime raven on the outside mo mostly over the the outer lip and on the inside i went for um cold shoulder by dose of colors and so i just kind of did my whole lip in the raven and then put the cold shoulder in the middle pop 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 <laughs> and that's the look for today all right, um, if I could get a better, you know, overall view of my outfit, I will definitely do that, you know, later on today. Um, traveling, but happy Sunday. Definitely grew. Got tall and still pretty. Say hi to the camera so, so everybody will see you on YouTube. Yes, see you on YouTube. Hi, tell me your name. What's your name? Tell me your name, baby. You know your name. Nice. You don't want to. You don't want the people to know you. <laughs> you don't want them to know you, huh? She don't want y'all to know who she is. But she's cute, ain't she cute? She's so cute. <laughs> you hiding from somebody? <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, she hiding. This is my this is my and Dorothy. Yeah, yeah. Here I am. Hello. Uh -huh. That's my dad's sister and cousins. The Houston fam. Uh huh. My Houston fam. Mark went back to church with um, hi. Pastor Ratliff. He had to preach at three o'clock. So Mark went back with them, and um, I came over to the mall to take this dress back. That denim dress, I took it back. Um, if I want, if I'm gonna get it again, I would want the two X, <clears throat> just because of the arms. That would have been irritating to me. Just cute. So, um, 
Yeah, so now I'm waiting on my shuttle to come back and get me and go back to the room, pack up my stuff, get ready to leave in the morning. Actually, I don't think we leave till noon, but we'll probably get picked up, I'm assuming somewhere around nine. Thanks. What is the fragrance in the lobby? The fact that you can go online and purchase it is the St. Regis scent for uh, Houston. St. Regis scent from Houston. From Houston. Mm -hmm. Okay. Caroline Say it again. Caroline 400. Caroline 400. Thank you. Alrighty. I was so um, nervous. I don't really like Uber and Lyft. I don't like the whole concept of some stranger driving me around. And I just, I didn't Uber, but I went to um, the mall in the St. Regis um, shuttle. And, you know, if I'm with Mark, that's one thing. But by myself, I don't like it. I don't like giving up that kind of control. <laughs> But um, Mark left his iPad on the plane on Friday. So we're here trying to get, trying to see if we can find it, if they put it in the lost and found. And um, hopefully we'll find it. If not, you gotta get a new iPad. Glad you ain't gotta buy another one. <laughs> 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 